Quinn Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another challenge video and today we're going to go ahead and do the black and white build challenge. So my face cam and the game should be in black and white as you can see. If I can get my editing skills up to par, I hope I can get my face cam to be black and white as well. Just to kind of, you know, go with the theme. So I actually saw James uh, from The Sim Supply do this first and I think he was suggested by a viewer but I'm not really sure about who started this challenge. So I'll leave a link down below to his video so you can go ahead and get a bit more information about this. I'm not going to go with something too outrageous or very kind of complex in terms of shape because I don't want to kind of make it too difficult for myself. So I'm just going to make maybe like a little pop out at the start here. At the start, at the front I should say. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring this back a little bit. It will be kind of like a start at home sort of size but I probably won't go can't speak, I'm talking too fast. Here we go. What a mess already, not even like a minute in. So let's go for, let's bring this back. I'm going to try and make the pop-outs like at the same, um, on the same tiles on like both sides. So you can see here that kind of lines up just to kind of make it a little bit easier for myself for when I do the roofing because sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes if I try to make these, like just having too many pop-outs and stuff. And so I'm going to put like this here and then I'm going to do a slightly bigger one um, just behind it just to kind of make it look a little bit interesting there and I'll probably change the heights of the roof and stuff in a minute I'm just going to kind of get the basic shape done first. I don't know about this little bit here I might actually just bring that in like so uh, just to make my life a little bit easier <laughs> And then I'm going to I'm probably going to have to play around with this for a second So I'm probably just going to speed this process up and I'll be back in just a second Okay, I think I've got the roofing done there. Just very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some stairs here. Um, this one right here. So I'm pretty sure that this one is white. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. I feel like I've built enough now to kind of know what the default colours are when you first pick up an item. So I'm hoping that that'll kind of benefit me here because, I mean, it's going to be kind of harder to decide what colours to go for. So I'm pretty sure that's white. I'm pretty sure it is because I know that most of these fences come in white as a default colour. Okay so I'm going to go for a kind of brick feature wall and let's choose some siding to put on as well. I'm going to go for, I'm hoping that is white, I'm pretty sure it is and then let's choose some roof. So I'm just going to go with this basic one but change it to black. I'm pretty sure that one is black so I'm just going to go with that and um, that kind of rhymed, I didn't mean to. <laughs> So now I'm going to put some roof trims on. I'm pretty sure that all these are white here on like this bit. So I'm just going to put that around. Let's go ahead and different door on. Now this is where it's going to start getting a little bit harder because I don't know what all these colours are. Um, I know that this one is a rainbow one so we're definitely not going to put that one on. <laughs> go for one of these traditional ones like this one. Yeah that fits well. Okay that's great. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm thinking, how many times is this? One, two. So I need one with two. I was going to go ahead and put the parenthood one there like this one but it's not going to centre which is really annoying. So probably go for this one I know that is white so I'm pretty confident about that hopefully <laughs> probably not going to be in the end I like to put columns on sometimes just to kind of make everything look a little bit neater it seems to be going okay so far and um, I'm kind of a little bit surprised by that to be honest I really thought I'd struggle with this but so far it seems to be okay so I've got that kind of basic shape done now I'm gonna go ahead and put some foundation on um so I'm thinking about maybe like this one's gonna be hard because we don't actually have um we'll have this one but I don't really like those little white things there. I don't, they're really irritating. But the colour swatch behind it is perfect. I haven't even thought about the floor plan yet. Which is a little bit irritating. Because I don't know how it's all going to turn out inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and plan this out quickly and see. So I'm hoping that the takeaway from this video. Will be that I kind of develop something that. You know I find some colour swatches that maybe I don't really use a whole lot of. Um, and then I kind of just think. Okay that actually seems okay. I'm trying to find the dirt colour swatch here. But I don't know which one it is. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know where if the dirt is gone. Because this one, I would th think it's like that, but that doesn't really look like it, so that could be it then, okay. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this is going to be dirt instead of grass. I'm kind of a little bit worried about that now. So if you don't know how I do landscape, it is pretty simple. All I do is I get these low lion pale yellow flowers, and I just go ahead and place them down like this as a base. And then I go ahead and choose some bigger ones, like the low lion palm plant, um, and then like so. Um, I'm going to put a pathway here, so I'm just going to be careful where I'm placing these. And then I go in for some flowers. So let's go ahead and place down some floor in here. I'm going to go for that, that's great, and then place this down here as a pathway. And then I might even go ahead and put some rocks down to kind of uh, separate this off. So let's go ahead and put a few trees down here, I think. That'll be good uh, to do the next thing as. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and put some flooring down. Um, I'm just going to go for some wood floors here. I'm going to go for white because it isn't something that I know it's not pink or anything because I know that this one, this is the very, very basic wood. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a door onto the bedroom and bathroom. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put 
just something very basic down like I normally put that down uh, sometimes it takes up a little bit too much room but it should work for that bathroom let's work on what uh, wall coverings we're going to use so I'm going to go for like a basic color in here I'm hoping that this is going to be gray or like a very neutral color I'm going to go for neutral colors today I know that's something that not a lot of people like because it's kind of very basic but at the same time I just want to make sure that just using things I always do because I didn't want like I said earlier in the build I do want to go with things that I've never done before and experiment with new things especially today because you know it is kind of a very risky thing to do for this sort of thing so I'm going to put the kitchen in first so I know that that looks white I'm hoping it is I'm going to put the stove probably there and then I'm going to put the fridge right there and then I'm going to go ahead and put the sink just on this end one here probably and then I think I'm going to go for oh, my voice broke there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put a little um, island in as well because we've kind of got a lot of space here. I might actually get another corner one like so. I'm probably just going to go for three. I do want this place, you know, the whole kitchen to take up like all of the all of the space you know so i'm gonna go for these because i'm pretty sure those are white so i'm gonna go ahead and put the tv in this corner now i know that's gonna look weird i think but where else are we gonna put it though we can't really put it next to the door i think that's gonna be the best place for it there so let's put the tv stand down and um, i'm pretty sure that one is white as well so i'm gonna go with that so let's go ahead and choose the sofa here that's only two a two-seater thing which might not seem a lot but at the same time this isn't really home for that many sims then we need like some painting to put here as well these ones right here so i'm pretty sure that that one just have like a creamy sort of frame to it which should go okay with this hopefully we also need some lights in here as well so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so what i'm thinking about doing is maybe put a dining table here and um, i think that'd be a good option to go for I'm pretty sure that one again is a wood, like a cream wood colour. What do I want here? Like a bookshelf and like a, a desk maybe? I don't think we'd have room to do that in the bedroom. No, we don't. So I'm going to go ahead and put a desk here instead. This maybe. And then we'll choose this one because I know that computer is white from City Living. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little lamp down. That's a candle, but that's all right, I think. Go ahead and choose a desk chair. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little um thing from fitness stuff there as well. I'm not too sure what colour swatch that is. Oh, that's black. Um, We'll go for that one then because I think that's got the white... And then the black thing there at the bottom. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so my camera battery just died. So we're just going to continue with the device over alone. I know some people don't like seeing um, face cam on speed build videos because I know it can be a little bit distracting. So this is kind of just to um, make everybody happy, I suppose. And we need a few little bit of like decorations and stuff as well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this plant and just put it in the corner here like so. And we need some curtains and some more paintings. So let's do that next. Now we know with this cats and dogs window, the city living curtain is perfect for that in the small size. Here we go. And um, we'll still have some space here. So I could maybe do a easel or something. I could do that. And then I need another runner here. So that one would probably go quite well there. And then we could put a console table right here. And I'm thinking about we could maybe put like a mirror on top of it as well. So I believe that's white, so I will go with that. Um, not perfectly centre though. Um, that'll be good enough, I think. And then at the front door, we could do a, another... Um, let's see here. So I want like a clutter item. Um, where is it? The, like the shoe rack and the coat rack and things. And there we go. So I think we're good for like this area. Let's move on to the bathroom next. Let's get that out of the way. Because we've still got to choose a wall covering for it. But I am going to use the stone as this uh, to put on this corner bit here. Just so it isn't all the same. And then I'm going to go in and find some tiling to put down. I'm not too sure which one to go for. I'm pr I know what this colour looks like and it would go. But it's just that the um, that bit there. Like the bit underneath it. Like this thing. I don't really like that. So um, I'm kind of just making it more difficult for myself here. I'm hoping that doesn't have blue in it. Because for some reason I do have a very good feeling that has blue in it. Which I don't know why I'm still placing it down. If I think I'm going to be blue. But you know what? That's alright. Because this challenge is supposed to be kind of odd and stuff like that. I was going to put a bath shower in there. Like the, the two tile ones. But I don't think that's a good idea. I might just actually separate this off like that. Copy over that like so. And then I'm going to put a shower in one side of it like that. And then I'm going to put the toilet on the other side. Um, let's go with this one. And then I'm going to place down one of these basic base game ones like this uh, for the mirror. And we'll go for that colour swatch. And let's put some toweling down and stuff. So I know that this one is white. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm probably going to get this all wrong now. Um, and then let's go ahead and put down a shower. Maybe a laundry basket too. Because I've still got a little bit of space to fill up. But another pillar just to kind of separate this wall off like so. Uh, it's a nice little finishing touch thing. Not forgetting the toilet roll as well. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not a necessity in this game at all. But it's just for, you know, decorate decorative processes processes purposes <laughs> what a mess <laughs> um okay now another bedroom now i'm pretty sure we're going to end up choosing a bed which is just going to be really really odd i want to go for this because it looks white but at the same time i have a feeling it's going to be pink so i'm going to go for this one um again i'm not too sure what that looks like but you know what let's just go for it and i'm going to go for these modern style uh like 
end tables because the I know that this original cut wait why did that disappear wait what is happening wait what you can see it moving around but there's nothing there why does it do this this has happened like once before and then we need to choose I, I was actually just going to use this curtain here but I actually might go for this city living one it might take up the whole wall I might that maybe look like an exaggeration but I mean like it, it looks all right to be honest yeah I need like a dresser but I can whereabouts we could put that actually over here might be a good place so let's do that there let's go with one of the big mirrors from a city living like the stand ones like this because that will take up a bit of space like that and we'll change to that color swatch put one of the city living curtains down again i'm just going to copy this over and there i think we're pretty much done and um, we could actually put a few more trees in the back because it is looking a little bit bare over here i'm going to switch my monitor back over to the normal um color and we'll see how this turned out okay and this is how it turned out to be like now um it is blue, which actually looks good here, but I actually thought it was white, but never mind because it still works. I haven't seen it inside yet, but you know what? That's okay. I did actually forget to put a bin and stuff, so I'm just going to copy these over here. Um, I mean, this is kind of cheating because I can see the colours now, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to place these over because <clears throat> exactly the same as that anyway, so I'm not really changing anything. Okay, so just moved in a random sim here. Okay, now let's go into tab mode and see. I'm actually kind of nervous because, I mean, we all thought it was going to be white. Let's see if it actually is. Okay, it actually turned out really nicely. The wall covering is oh okay there's a mailbox here <gasps> oh no <laughs> that's yellow okay so it kind of went okay there is some areas which are a little bit odd um hang on i'm moving my camera all over here probably making you dizzy but it's kind of like auto generated i'll move that later and then we've got these okay great i did choose the wrong color swatch for that but that's all right and that but you know again it was said there would be you know some problems so you know oh my god Pff, mint green <laughs> or even blue uh oh no okay and wait oh <gasps> Oh no! Oh my god! How did I end up choosing that colour for that? And I bet I did the same around here as well. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, okay. That's a little bit embarrassing, but you know what? That's okay. So, um, apart from those things, everything seems to be looking okay over here. The same over here. Yeah, okay, great. I mean, this doesn't perfectly match this colour um, lamp, but that's alright. So let's jump into the bedroom and see how this looks. And... <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. To be honest, it looked it looks good. I, I wasn't what I was going in ten for, but everything sort of matches. But the window kind of ruins it, so that's a little bit irritating. Okay, let's go into the bathroom and see how this looks. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, oh green. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought it would be blue or white, but it's actually green. <laughs> okay, that looks really, really stupid, but you know what? And a blue laundry thing. Okay, that's a little bit irritating. Okay, so apart from the green walls, I was kind of correct with the, the shower colour and the everything, all the accents and things like that, which I placed down all the right colours. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up on the gallery if you want to go ahead and download it. I mean, I don't know why you would, um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy how this turned out. If you liked it, please make sure you leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. And also let me know if there's any other kind of challenges or build ideas ideas anything you have in terms of video ideas please let me know in the comment section down below that'd be really helpful and like i said if you want to download this i will put up on the gallery my origin id is real thomas tv1 and i'll see you all next time bye